Not all infusion pumps are created equal. Some pumps work better for certain therapies than others. But why is that? Let's start with learning how pumps actually deliver fluid. When using infusion pumps, we set the flow rate and press run. We expect the fluid to flow through the tubing in a steady stream at the exact flow rate that was programmed, like when turning on a water faucet. However, most infusion pumps don't work that way. Most infusion pumps push fluids toward the patient in a series of boluses that are timed according to the flow rate that was programmed. In between each bolus is a period where no fluid is infusing. This is called the period of no flow. This period of no flow exists even in syringe pumps. The duration of this period of no flow is impacted by two factors, the flow rate and the pump's resolution of flow. To understand resolution of flow, imagine the resolution of a digital image. In images, a pixel is the smallest unit of color that makes up the larger image. Images with lower resolution consist of fewer numbers of larger pixels, resulting in a grainy, distorted image. Images with higher resolution consist of a greater number of smaller pixels, which results in better clarity and detail. The same idea applies to infusion pumps. However, instead of pixels, we measure in boluses. A bolus is the amount of fluid that is pushed into the patient's tubing with each turn of the pump's motor. Pumps with lower resolution of flow push fewer numbers of larger boluses into the tubing to deliver the desired dose. Pumps with higher resolution of flow push a greater number of smaller boluses into the tubing to deliver the desired dose. Flow continuity, or we can call that continuity of flow, describes the continuousness of an infusion or the pump's ability to reduce those periods of no flow. In other words, pumps with better continuity of flow are those which minimize the periods of no flow by delivering boluses consistently and at shorter intervals throughout an infusion. Continuity of flow is not a big concern when the flow rate is fast, but it does become much more important with low flow rates, especially if the medication being infused has a short half-life. So when does resolution and continuity of flow really matter? First, whenever low flow rates are being infused. This is generally considered to be rates less than 10 milliliters per hour. Very low flow rates are typically considered to be less than 5 milliliters per hour. The second scenario is when infusing drugs with short half-lives. A half-life is the period of time required for the concentration of the drug in the body to be reduced to exactly one half of a given concentration or amount. It is at this point that the drug is considered to be no longer at a therapeutic level. The third scenario is when infusing drugs with a short onset or duration of action. Onset of action is the amount of time it takes for a drug's effect to come to prominence after administration. Duration of action is how long the drug is effective once it meets the appropriate receptor in the body. Drugs with a short half-life and short onset of action may perform better when delivered by a pump with increased continuity of flow, minimizing periods of no flow to minutes or even seconds. This is especially important if the drugs being infused are critical or if it is important to maintain a consistent therapeutic effect over time. Here are just a few examples of high-risk, low-flow, short half-life drugs. Some of these are used in home infusion. Curlin 
ambulatory infusion pumps have been shown to deliver an extremely high resolution and continuity of flow, especially at low infusion rates. For example, at an infusion rate of 0.1 milliliter per hour, the Curlin pump delivers 50 microboluses per hour. This is compared to two boluses per hour with some other infusion pumps. This translates to one bolus every 1.2 minutes with the Curlin pump, compared to one bolus every 30 minutes with other pumps. This means that medications infused with the Curlin pump are delivered in smaller boluses more often throughout the entire infusion duration, optimizing the level of therapeutic value to your patients on medications with short half-lives that are running at a low flow rate. To learn more about how Curlin's resolution and continuity of flow can help optimize your patient's outcomes, contact us at curlinpump.com or call 1-800-970-2337.